Hey you guys, how is everybody doing out there? How is your day going? A special happy Friday to anybody that is watching this video on the day that it is uploaded because this is a Friday's favorites video, but happy Thursday or Saturday if you're in a different time zone as me because I know that kind of factors in too. But just happy day. I hope you're having a happy day wherever you are, whenever you are at. If you don't know me, my name is Ashley and I'm with AHM Artistry and in my Friday's favorites video, I tell you what my favorites are and sometimes fail, sometimes favorites and fails. Today's video though, we are doing my top five favorite body hair products that I just love and they're tried and true and I just have to share them with you guys because body care products aren't oftentimes discussed and you need to know. Just like everything else on my channel, everything that I'm showing you today is cruelty free so no animals are harmed in the making of your luxurious body care products. So if you would like to see all that, if that all sounds good and dandy to you, then you know what to do. Sit back hang tight and keep on watching. All right, so let's go ahead and dive right in. Now my top five for this round is in no particular order. These are all just different products that I love in each category. So I'm gonna start with a body wash and kind of go like through all my body care products. So I showed you guys this when I went on my little Target cruelty-free shopping trip and I took you guys along with me. And I talked briefly about the Coconut and Vanilla Native Body Wash. I haven't tried any of the other fragrance before and quite frankly, I might not ever because I love coconut and vanilla together. It smells heavenly. But not only that, the most important part, so they say, is cleansing. It cleanses really, really well and it doesn't leave any kind of weird film. It doesn't dry my skin out like say a bar, you know, soap would do. They do make bar soaps though, however, if you are more oily or you do like to do a bar soap, I get it, we are all different. So try out their bar soaps if you're interested in that. They have a couple other fragrances if coconut and vanilla isn't your thing. And it is sulfate free in case you're wondering. So even though it gets a really good lather and it cleans really well, it's still sulfate free, it's paraben free. Nine ingredients, that is it. Sometimes when you look at the back of body washes, you're like, holy moly, what actually am I putting on? Because this looks like a chemical bomb. This one, it's very clean from what I can tell. It looks really good, feels really good too. My skin doesn't feel dry or anything like that and I just love it. So if you're thinking about switching to a cruelty-free body wash, this is the one that I recommend. My only complaint to native, not complaint, but room for improvement would be the cap on this. This little snap cap, I've seen a lot of them broken in the store, probably from falling and this snap cap just breaks right off. It's a little bit difficult to like like put all the way on. It's totally fine, but I can see like one fall in my shower and this safety cap would probably break off. I would rather them do like one of those flat ones that snap and then you could snap it closed like a, you know, some shampoos bottle have. So native, if you just by chance happen to be watching this, I would say just make that little improvement and then the packaging itself is super cool, super sleek. Put it in the shower, it's out of the way and it's stable. It doesn't really fall. I've never had it fall, but that's just something I noticed when I was purchasing it that sometimes the caps are broken. So pay attention to that. Wow, I think I just spent three minutes talking about body wash, but that's what we're here for, right? Get down to the nitty gritty. So talking about the same kind of body care cleansing aspect, let's talk about body scrubs. My favorite body scrub of all time is the Lalicious Body Scrubs. Now, I have dry skin, so keep that in mind when we go through this. I have very, very dry skin. My body, especially Alligator Skin City over here. That's, that's the tea. So I love the Lalicious Body Scrubs because number one, they use a lot of basic ingredients, eight ingredients in this. That is not bad at all. And this one is different than like a scrub I would use for a self-tanner. I wouldn't use this for a self-tanner because it leaves a little bit of an oily, moisturized feel on the skin, not super oily, but you feel it, you know, kind of like, I almost don't have to do lotion when I do this, but then I still do just to like kind of seal in the hydrating aspect of this. This is a giant, this is a giant one. There's a middle size between these two, but this is the peppermint one I got during the holidays and I still have it. I try to scrub at least once a week, but I don't always end up making time for it. This peppermint one, it's so invigorating. I think this is a holiday scent though, so I'm not sure. I have to look up on their website. They have so many scents that are beautiful, but if you like coconut, there is a coconut scent. This is the very first one that I fell in love with. Not the same model, but the same fragrance. I fell in love with this coconut one. I keep this travel one for two reasons. Number one, in case I want to take it to the gym or on a trip with me. Number two is because when these are empty, 
I actually refill these with sugar scrubs so I can put them in my shower. It, when I put the middle size of this one, it's a little bit smaller than this, in my shower, it can get water trapped in and because they don't use any parabens or any preservatives in it, it can mold a little bit faster on you. So you do have to be really conscious of that. So what I do is actually take the jar into the shower with me and use it and then take it out after, or I put them in these little ones and I'll burn through them so quickly, you know, after like a month, month and a half, if I'm using them more often and it doesn't get moldy because I use it fast enough, you know, but something about the moisture and the steam and the heat of the shower can harness, you know, some bacteria. We don't want that. So just a little tip. If you do decide to get these, get a little container or something, maybe even smaller, just like a little small container, scoop it into that and then leave it in there. That way you don't have to go back and forth. I absolutely love these scrubs because they not only slough away dead skin cells and help with the cell turnover of my skin on my body, it also makes it feel super hydrated. It gives that nice sleek feeling so I don't feel dried out. I know some body scrubs can be really intense and leave you feeling like raw these ones don't leave you feeling raw at all it's just like the perfect balance like I can do it like two times a week and I'm fine I could probably do it every day but that's like a little much for me I don't know if you guys can see but it is a sugar based scrub so really natural all natural ingredients the ingredients in there are cane sugar coconut oil wheat almond oil this one has peppermint oil in it there's tocolophorol which I'm not really sure what it is but it's probably some kind of emulsifier and then soybean oil this one has honey so if you are vegan be aware of that check the ingredients before you make a purchase that that was it that was the whole ingredient list so only like eight ingredients and you can pronounce them all you know what it is they tell you in parentheses what it actually is and I love that so if you're into clean body care and skincare too both that body wash and this very important there you go bada bing bada boom I love it next up let's talk about self tanners now I fell in love with this self tanner maybe like two months ago loving tan actually reached out to me and asked if they could send me some products to try and I had heard of them before but I never got around to trying them I had another self tanner brand that I thought was my favorite but they came with like a lot of disclaimers like i would look a little bit green it would almost be like too dark so this loving tan one is amazing and i mean i gotta i gotta say i feel you if you feel like you only ever hear influencers talk about loving tan i get it i did too so i was like yes i definitely want to try it because i want to know is it really that good yes it is, it is that good. And actually when I posted about getting the little package, a couple of you guys DM'd me back replying to my stories and said, oh my gosh, that's my favorite tanner ever. You're gonna love it. And I was like, okay, good. It's not just influencers that are using it. Everybody's using it. And I'm just apparently the last one to ever get my hands on it. So I'm just all alone, all alone here. So you guys are probably like, yeah, I know girl, we love it. But they sent me a couple other self tanners. I particularly love the two hour express mousse for multiple reasons. Number two, you only have to wait two hours for it to develop, easy peasy. I usually put it on in the gym after I take a shower actually. And then by the time I get home and do a bunch of things and run a couple errands, I can go in the shower and rinse it off. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. Not only that, but the color that I get from using the two hour express mousse is absolutely perfect. Perfection. Perfect. I actually asked them for the dark shade because I like to have a little bit of a richness in my tan and I'm kind of like a light to medium skin tone and the dark one is perfect on me. I have a little bit of the tan left over. I did it on last Friday and I'm filming this on a Thursday. So almost a week and I still have a little bit of a tan here. I actually have some video I'll show you of me applying it and you can see how dark that it gets. I didn't apply it onto my face. I haven't done that yet, but I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to test it out and let you guys know how it goes on the face. When it starts fading, it fades really nice and even. It's not patchy and weird. I just love it so much. If you were trying to decide between this one and the eight hour mousse, I mean, this one comes with a lot of convenience. I was kind of worried when I did this that maybe it would start to develop too fast and my tan would turn out really splotchy as I'm applying it since it starts developing right away, but I didn't run into that issue. The Two Hour Express, she is my babe. I love her. And with that being said, I love the applicator mitt. Oh my gosh. It's a velvety feel. Really nice. It blends so, so, so easy. I've used another applicator before that was like a foam and it literally, literally, I haven't done one of those gifts in a while. It ripped the first time I used it. I got a tear in it. That is 
really crappy because they're like over like ten dollars that one i think was like 15 or 20 and that is really not cool so when this one i felt the material i was like oh this is good and sturdy it seems like i could throw it in the wash and be fine i just rinse it under the sink but it blends so easily so if you were thinking i don't need a mitt Honey, it makes things go so much smoother, so much faster. I used to be a disposable glove girl until I got this one, because the other foam one, I was like, well, that tore, so that sucks, can't use it. Went back to the disposable glove, but now I have this in my life and I ain't ever turning back. So there you go. Now moving on to body butters. Like I mentioned in the beginning of my video, I am Alligator Skin City and I cannot use a body lotion. I mean, I can, but the effects of it are temporary and within an hour or two, it's like, did I even put lotion on? So the body butter life is the life for me. I love body butters, but I don't like them to leave any weird films or greasy feel. I want them to just absorb into my skin, but leave a plump moisturized feel. And that is where a tie comes in for these two products. Oh my goodness. Gracious Great Balls of Fire. It's another Lilicious product. This is their body butter. This one's the Sugar Tiara Flower, but I also have the coconut one. I actually have a giant spa size one of that that I got from their website because I love the coconut one so much. A little bit pricey for the big one, not gonna lie, but you can always start with the smaller one, which is what I would suggest. This one still lasts me a long time. The Sugar Tiara Flower smells like a tropical Hawaiian vacation. So if you wanna be a Hawaiian goddess, honey, here you go. It feels so, 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 so good. Oh my goodness, just rich, thick cream, but it doesn't leave a weird residue. It's not crazy. It's not a problem. I just love it. Oh my, I wish you guys could see this transformation. Maybe you can, I'll show you. So here's my hand with it. Here is without. Oh, which one do you prefer? Definitely this one, obviously. For both the scrubs and the body butters here, there's a lot to choose from. And fragrance wise, I think they have like mm, around eight fragrances and they're all really, really nice. The most popular fragrance is the Sugar Kiss one. It's really, really nice and just, you know, sugary, but warm and nice. But my favorite's obviously coconut and obviously sugar tiari. This one is like a Tahitian flower, in case you're wondering what that smells like. Really good. Oh, just love. So good. If you suffer from really dry skin, these will be your girls right here. So good. And the tie is with the Bum Bum Cream from Sol de Janeiro. This is probably like an everybody's favorite body care videos or whatever when they bring it up. So I probably won't go too much into it. Probably I say. And the reason why it ties is because I get a very similar feel with this one. The delicious one is slightly more hydrating, but I like the effects of this one. <laughs> Look at it. It looks like straight up butter. This one does. Oh my goodness. In case you haven't seen it. I know the scent's not for everybody, but it's for me, honey. I don't even know what the scent is. Some kind of Brazilian kakui nut or something. Not kakui nut. I don't know what it is, but it's amazing and I love it. And I want to slather my whole existence in this stuff and this fragrance, but I don't use it all the time because it has like a, a mica in it that is beautiful, but it gives like a shimmery effect. So if I don't want that, I do the delicious. And this is supposed to help kind of tighten up. It's meant for the bum bum, right? The bum, but I put it all over. I don't care. I don't notice a difference necessarily like with the appearance of my tushy, but allegedly it does that. I'm also not consistent with it at all. So I can't attest to that at all because I'd have to use it more consistently. And quite frankly, it's very expensive and I don't want to do that. So I just use it when I want to feel a little extra, have a nice fragrance because you don't need a perfume when you use this. I do have the body spray of this though because I love it so much, but I love that. Let me know if you guys like either of those ones, if you've used either of those ones. And we got one more product to talk about, baby. So the last body care product that we are going to talk about is my favorite cruelty-free deodorant. And and that is the Schmitz Bergamot in Lime. This specific fragrance right here has done wonders for me. Oh my goodness, you guys. This is my second repurchase of this deodorant and it's the second fragrance that I had. I originally had the Sensitive Jasmine Green Tea one and I did really like the scent of that one. It's kind of weird at first because you smell like a cup of Jasmine Green Tea, but then it grows on you and you're like, oh my gosh, this is amazing, I love it. But I did get that whole 
cruelty-free deodorant uh, rash that happens with that. It does happen sometimes and lots of times it's because either the baking soda in the deodorants are causing you irritation or it's your own natural sweat and your body's not used to it and or you're like detoxifying or it could be a mix of the deodorant and your sweat and sometimes that can happen. So I used a whole tube of that jasmine green tea for sensitive skin and I was every once in a while every few days I would get that little bit of red bumpies. They weren't irritating or anything like that but they ate pretty and I don't like it so I switched to this one and it's the regular formula and instantly better world of difference amazing so I don't know if it's the fragrance that they put in there then or they did something to make it more sensitive but actually for my skin it wasn't as sensitive or it didn't work as well this one works amazing haven't had an issue since now granted I was already on that Schmidt's deodorant for like two months so maybe my skin you know detoxified and stuff I'm gonna go back to the other one and see how it does but anyways I just love this one smells like a like a Corona with lime, but not the alcohol part. I just love it. It's like a summer vacation. I'm going to be doing a video real, real, real soon about cruelty-free deodorants. I've been testing about six or eight different ones to kind of narrow it down for you guys and tell you the pros and cons of the different ones and what worked for me and my experience and kind of like troubleshooting because I know it's something that's not talked about and it's something that needs to be talked about because we want to go cruelty-free and we also want less chemicals right there next to our glands that are super sensitive and kind of absorb everything so it needs to be discussed oh and for those wondering this one is aluminum free propylene glycol free paraben free and free of phthalates so also you can read all the ingredients just like a delicious does this one has a parentheses of the actual product so arrowroot powder baking soda coconut oil shea butter fractured coconut oil candelilla wax instead of beeswax so there you go that's really good jojoba seed oil bergamot lime and vitamin e oil you would think that the lime would irritate me because it's a citrus essential oil but it doesn't it's so great. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Schmidt, for coming into my life. I just love you. So that is it for my favorite body care products. If we have any in common, definitely let me know. I love to just like talk about our love for body care products, obviously, and different, different products. If you have any deodorants, body washes, scrubs, self-tanners, any body care products at all that you love and you would recommend, drop a comment. Let us know. Share the wealth because that is what we are all about here on my YouTube channel. We are a community. We are a fan band and I love helping each other out and sharing our favorites and dishing about all this fun stuff. So now if you stumbled upon my channel and my face for the very first time and you haven't taken the opportunity yet, I'm gonna give it to you right now. Go down and hit that little red subscribe button that way you get notified when I post, which is at least three times a week and oh, my goodness, I know I say this almost every time, but I love creating for you guys. I love dishing. I love talking about our favorites. I can go on and on and on and on and on. But I'm going to cut it off here because I'm going to see you guys next time. And I hope that every single one of you out there, every single one, have a great, freaking, awesome, wonderful, beautiful day.